Hi, this is George from Eldorado Recording Services, and now we're going to show you how to assemble your recording kit using the PG42 USB microphone. In this case, this lovely padded aluminum flight case. We'll go ahead and open that up and take the manual out. Here's the microphone itself. It's a very nicely made mic, very heavy duty, well built. And let me give you a quick tour of the controls in this microphone. And all the different jacks and all the connections. It's, it's much more than a normal microphone. The front where it says sure, this is the side that you're going to speak into. You can see the diaphragm through the grill if you look carefully. Sure, speak into this direction. As we spin it around, we have a volume control for your headphone volume, a headphone jack, that's where you'll plug in your headphones while you're recording, a pad switch, which you can switch between 0 and minus 15 dB, a monitor control, which lets you blend between how loud the mic is versus how loud playback is from the computer in your headphones and a bass roll-off switch which I have engaged right now to take out the low frequency noise from the recording and last but not least the mic gain control which lets you control how loud the recording level is to the computer so those are all the controls on the shore next we have the pop or I'm sorry the uh, suspension the mic suspension also known as shock mount and the USB cable. It comes with a nice 10 foot USB cable. What I'm going to show you now is how to mount that whole system onto our mic arm here which allows you to mount this pretty securely in a lot of different places to the edge of a table, onto the edge of a shelf, whatever's convenient for you. So we have this already kind of pre-set up for you when we ship it to you with uh, everything where it needs to be to make it as easy as possible to assemble. So this is where the mic shock mount is going to screw on, so let's put, put that on first. It only goes on about one or two turns. Let's make sure that's nice and snug. It should be positioned so the base of it is right next to this part on the mic arm. Something like that. Then we'll go ahead and lock it in place with this control here, this knob, so it doesn't sag. Now that that's in place, we can actually put our microphone in. So we'll place it in so Shure is facing this direction. Slide it in and tighten the threaded base. Keep spinning it until it locks in place firmly. It's still allowed to rotate slightly, but it should be firm. Okay. Last but not least, the pop screen just snaps in. The little the stem here snaps into the ball. The ball snaps into the socket. And then we can rotate that into place. Ideally, the mic should be positioned so the pop screen is between your mouth and the diaphragm. So, something like this. And as you notice, this is a double pop screen, so it has twice the effectiveness of a standard pop screen. Then we can clamp it to your table or whatever arrangement, arrangement you have, and it's ready to go. That's the whole setup. Don't forget when you plug your microphone in, I'm sorry, plug your uh, headphone in, make sure you're plugging your headphones connector into the jack on the microphone itself. So that when you're speaking into the microphone, you can hear your voice without any delay. That's called zero latency monitoring. And then the USB cable it comes with will attach to the base of the microphone and go directly to your computer should not go through any USB hub. So we'll swing our pop screen back in place. 
and that's the completed setup using the Shure PG42 USB microphone with the Stage Ninja Scorpion Series microphone clamping arm custom uh, assembled by uh, Eldorado Recording Services with a Y adapter that allows the pop screen to mount to the front. Nobody else is doing this. This is a one-of-a-kind setup. We've designed this to be as easy to use and simple as possible. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you found this useful. We're going to show you a quick little video here on how to set up your PG42 our USB PG42 microphone from Shure with uh, your recording software and the Mac. It's very simple to do. We've got our microphone patched into the computer directly with this USB cable and we're going straight from the mic directly to the computer. That's an important detail. We recommend not using um, a USB hub between the microphone and the computer. Go straight into the computer. And then we'll go uh, into Audio MIDI Setup, which can be found in the Applications folder, Audio MIDI Setup. And we will make sure that we have properties for Shure Digital selected. And that's going to be the Shure microphone we're using. As you can see, I have a whole list of things. Make sure Sure Digital is selected. And then choose the recording format that you'd like to use. In this case, we're going to choose 48,000 hertz. That's really the most common and most preferable format to record for voiceover. Output also set to 48,000 hertz. Once that's set for the Sure Digital, you can close that window. And we will zoom back out. And in this case, we're using Twisted Wave, but this is true for any recording software you're using. Go into your sound preferences for your application, Twisted Wave preferences. Go to the device menu, wherever it is, where you choose the audio device you're recording with, and set the input and output device to Shure Digital. That'll get the audio from the microphone into the computer. And when you play back, if your headphones are plugged into the mic directly, uh, you want to hear that playback in your headphones, so choose the output also to Shure Digital. If you wanted to hear playback somewhere else, say speakers plugged into your computer or your built-in computer speakers, you would just choose built-in output for output device. But we'll use the Shure Digital for our headphones right now. Once that's done, we just click OK. Start recording, and now we can see levels that were... Uh, getting to tape, so to speak. And uh, we're looking pretty good. Um, I'm going to set the levels on the Shure mic microphone now. I'm going to slide this uh, pop screen out of the way so we can see better. And I'll turn the mic towards the camera a little bit so we can see. On the side of the microphone, there's a little mic gain control. And uh, we want to set that so the levels going to the computer are good and hot getting into the yellow and just touching the red and uh, we do that just by turning this little dial next to the flashing green light the mic gain knob up and down until we get a level that we like for the level of type of read we're doing if it's a quiet dark read we can bump it up a little bit more and if it's a really hyped up loud delivery you might want to run it back a little bit softer so just turning that little mic gain up and down gets us lets, uh, lets us adjust the level going to the recording. Also on this uh, microphone, on the other side from the mic gain, is a volume control. And the volume control lets you uh, adjust the volume that's going to your headphones. Pretty simple. You can control how loud that sound to your headphones off the microphone is reaching you. And then on the rear of the mic, we've got a pad which says 0 dB or minus 15 dB. We usually set that to 0 for voiceover, but for really loud instruments, you might change it to minus 15. Then between next to the pad, there's the monitor control. 
and this little control lets you blend how loud your microphone your the microphone is in your headphones with the sound coming back from the computer this is really useful for if you're dubbing your voice over music or over if you're doing multi-track recording or if you are doing something like uh, Skype or Source Connect where you want to be able to control how loud you are in your headphones versus how loud the person on the other side is very useful for that and then next to that is another switch that's the bass roll-off switch on the left side it has a little roll-off symbol that means uh, bass roll-off is engaged it's a good idea in most cases to do that for vocals because uh, the bottom end of the frequency range is just noise and, and rumble which is no good for vocals so nothing wrong with setting that to bass roll-off and leaving the uh, leaving it uh, out of the flat position trust me it works great for doing uh, vocals and voiceover so those are all the controls on the uh, Shure mic twist it around here and put our pop screen back into position and let's see what we uh, Once we get it all tweaked here, let's see what we're getting to tape. This is the Shure PG42 USB microphone. It's a new product from Shure. It concludes the shock mounted basket and uh, a nice carrying case. Everything you need to record. It's a great little all in one package. So that's how you set up the Shure PG42 USB edition with your recording software.